Hi, my name is Hicham and this is a video presenting UserLand. UserLand is a programmable end-user environment based on Dataflow. At first glance, it works just like the quintessential end-user Dataflow application, a spreadsheet. In fact, cells, formulas, references work just like one would expect. A difference from a typical spreadsheet, though, is that cells are created on demand. But otherwise, their behavior is pretty normal. But UserLand is not a spreadsheet, or at least not just a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet functionality was loaded as a module and in fact was activated when we first entered a cell with an equal sign. We can switch out of the spreadsheet mode by pressing a key combination and then enter a different mode, shell. The shell mode implements an actual Unix shell. The current implementation forks commands off to bash so you have the full power of bash scripting available. However, just because we are using a Unix shell, it doesn't mean we have to be constrained by the limitations of a Unix terminal. As we see here, launching a long-lived command does not prevent us from continuing to interact with the system. We can move up, edit, and relaunch commands while other cells are still running. The user can choose between adding more commands at the bottom, like a regular terminal would do, or just replace the command with something else. Notice how this implementation of cat displays the file with syntax highlighting. This is because this is not the system's cat, but rather a module implemented in userland. The idea is to gradually extend the capabilities of the shell with functionality that can make use of the enhanced environment. As we can see, running internal commands implemented via scripting is indistinguishable from running external commands from the system. Here we replaced cat with tac, which is a binary from the system that prints a file backwards. Let's switch back to cat now, and let's try something different. Let's build a pipeline. We'll pipe together cat, tac, and wc to count lines, and voila! Each bit of the pipeline is now its own cell. It can be manipulated independently, and it can also be edited and triggered independently. So let's modify the WC invocation and change it from counting lines to counting characters. Execution and evaluation are triggered according to data flow rules. Let's edit the command in the middle of the pipeline, changing it from tag to grep. Grep filtered the input, looking for occurrences of the word type, and the count of characters was also updated. We can freely mix interaction styles. Here I move to a cell with the mouse and then I press Ctrl L to clear the screen in typical shell fashion. For the next bit of the demo, let's switch to the home directory. And as I'm sure it would be expected from a shell environment that frees itself from the limitations of character graphics, userland does support graphics. Here we are seeing the show command, which was implemented as a built-in in userland's shell module. The built-in was implemented in such a way as to integrate with the data flow mechanics of the system. Let's build a pipeline that begins with our built-in cat, which feeds data into the external program convert from the image magic suite and then finally goes into our built-in show. Here's the result of our pipeline. Our show command at the end displays the converted image. The cell in the middle running convert has fed the proper data into show, but since the user land doesn't know anything about convert, it just showed the data as text. We can use the built-in keyword quiet to get rid of that. Just like we did with our text pipeline, we can play with the arguments and see instant results. For the last bit of the demo, let's integrate all that we have seen so far. By pressing a key, I can reset any cell and switch it back to spreadsheet mode. So let's create a couple of cells and then add a formula. Just like the data flow relationships in spreadsheet cells are declared via their textual language, the same thing is possible in shell cells as well. Here we're going to use a spreadsheet cell identifier, adjusted to the shell syntax of course, to control the argument for this shell invocation. UserLand has a single unified data flow engine, so the spreadsheet cells and the shell cells can integrate seamlessly. The architecture is extensible so that new modes can also be created. To wrap up the demo, let's switch back to shell mode and demonstrate the communication in the opposite direction. So let's begin by uh, displaying a text file and then extending that into a pipeline that counts the number of lines. 
that conveniently produces a numeric value which we can then use in our spreadsheet formula, which will then propagate to the pipeline above. And that is all for today's demo. This is Userland, an integrated data flow environment that allows different applications to be constructed and that will hopefully allow users to combine them in creative ways. Thanks for watching.